Hello and welcome back, it's B-Vulture. Today, just a quick one on this fourth rail bridge setup. Hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back. I thought I'd show you how we built the fourth rail bridge today. I'll put the link to the Steam Workshop in the description. And this is what we're talking about. This bridge, I saw in a video today, if you know who I'm talking about, it's probably not hard to figure out. But this bridge caused a lot of issues because it puts the pillars in just like this. And, you know, it's not pretty. So we want a prettier bridge. There's a pretty simple fix. Get, put your bridge wherever you want it. You can even attach it to other pieces of rail if you, if you care. Pull out a piece of rail just like I have here, make sure it's flat, that's important, and it has to be snapped to be straight. So just make sure it snaps to be straight, plug that in, extend it, plug that in, go on the other side, do the exact same thing. This will make it easier, this is not strictly necessary, but I found it helpful. Make sure you're flat again, make sure you snap straight, plug it in, good. And then this bridge allows you to just remove the bridge that's already on the bridge. Super simple. Get rid of that and then pick any rail that you want. Don't, don't worry about that I'm using just a 10 uh, miles per hour or kilometer per hour rail here. Pull it over and this is why we wanted to have it straight and flat. So that the rail does not have any bendage top or bottom. Once you pull out the rail like this, the only thing you have to make sure is that you have invisible bridge installed if you want it to be as pretty as this. Once you have that selected and you have both sides connected as we have here, click OK, do the other side, just like this. And we have a beautiful rail that's nice, straight, and looks fabulous. And that is it. Thanks for coming by. If you like this, like and subscribe. Come back next time. Hope you learned something. Bye!